because I'm going to be coming down this row, all the cuts are going to be going that way, so I'm going to want to start from this end and work my way down, because you're not going to be wanting feeding into these ones, and you don't want these, any overcuts or anything like that, it may seem like it's nice and tight, but it's pushing the next one out. So, on this case, it's not always like, because they're longer ones, if I'm sticking, I don't, I want to do my cuts after I've done all my sticking and that lot. So, all of this is now stuck, so, um, on the other side with the nine degrees, the row in front isn't, so I can show you what I would do in that scenario, but in these scenarios with longer plants, anything like that, you know, I tend to want to just get all this done and then just come down with the cuts the next day. So, where I'm going to be starting, um, again, I'm just going to show you a little one that I learned just on this big one big massive herringbone job that we were doing. I wanted to start getting my cuts up there but I had it was a big plant and there was nothing to support it going on the other side. So what I've done is I'm clever is that you know I just got one of the plants and I cut it because they were sevens I went up in sevens but in this case I'm just going to go up in um, three inches so sorry let's just quickly turn that round. So basically what I've got there is jig valve set there for the nines. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm just going to turn one round. Oops. Put one in there, so I've taken two of it off. And this is what I've done just to help me out with the uh, holy cow, when I wanted to get my first cuts in. Now, and all I've done is I just, so I can put that on my first one. You can put the second one in there that I took off the back of it. So that now is going to create something solid for me to even put that on the banking off. Because without that there, that plank can always go left or right. Now, another reason why I would choose, well, probably most likely go for this one, and it is an important factor, I find, with three inch plants when you're coming down on the cut, and it is just a case of roughing in. And I'm not being funny with the amount of cuts that you've got to do, especially if you're using like more quality tires like your MT codes and that, where they're not just scratch and snap, just roughing each one in before you do the cuts and that lot, over a job, course of a job is a pain in the arse. And so this is a considering factor that I now, you know, put into as to which way I want to do things. So, now that's on there. Now, here's the deal with the holly board and other people where they're using them when they're first changing over from what they've previously learned with traditional methods. Is that you're still trying to use it the same way. You're being so all this delicately put on there. Or is that you know, if you're doing that then you are defeating the object. The idea of the more boards, you know, is for you to achieve these cuts, but the boards and that will just take out all the the side of it where you know you, where human error can take place. With that, I can now get a nice firm cut on that, but I haven't actually rough it in. Yeah, well, it's good because even if the wall's out, she still gets it because what she does, she brings everything in. So it makes it a square long cut. We'll show you the other ways that you could, will be shown that you can prepare and then you can make a freedom of choice yourself. So now I'm like that, I can come down my whole row without roughing in tiles and trust me, anyone who says that ain't a chore is someone that hasn't done a lot. Because on these ones, I don't mind the threes are the smallest ones or Apart from those with low ones, you do get the most cuts, you know, and they are always going to be. 
So by the end of the day, sometimes you are having to rough that in before you have to cut that in is a big factor for me. So with the holly board, it does allow you to put, you know, bigger planks in it. So that would be the herringbone board, sorry. So yeah, that would be my initial first option. Now the only other one, because they're stuck, obviously, because now they've done that, I, you know, if you want, I don't want to keep lifting over and changing over rows. So, next one that's going to come to back is going to be the fringe drop board. Because I'm also going to find out if the wall's in or out, because the only thing with these, with a 45 template, you know, it does have to be, the wall is square to work with that, or, can make the other template, but we're just going to keep it simple. So, coming down the wall, three inch lock boards. You only go the other way from there, actually, but never mind. That puts it on there. Again, I can get a really good. So, again, in this case, I'll be, you know, if the wall's square, if I can get the plank inside the fringe, no, I might be coming down with just that. Because obviously when the wall is on and square, you get such a beautiful finish. With, you know, just the normal, the first level way, you know, the first 45 template. Because if the wall is square, you're dropping them in. Actually, if I was going that way, <laughs> but anyway, so that one is another option, but probably in, in all honesty, this one might go back to the uh, here we go, board. Where does it say look? Now, the other option. Again, I would use this very rarely in there, but I'm not going to get the new one out because, look, if you've got a real bloody good run of it, you know, and you're going to be just banging them in and banging them in, yes, then yes, because obviously when you're first using it, it's all the getting time to use to using it. But again, I'm just going to show you, it is a viable option. I'm, on certain floors, you know, it can help make you fly, but it just, again, it's just like the old standard board, but with a setup. But if I can, well, yeah, they can go in, so this could be an option for this wall. Oops. But again, because I myself haven't used it for ages, you know, I'm going to be a bit cumbersome on the initial ones first. You know, set in a minute until I find the group. But uh, anyway, so what the Oscar ball would do is hold the tiles in place, giving you the two hands free, and providing the wall is square, again, you are. So it's not necessarily going to be the one I go to. There'll be certain elements in play, and I will get that out. But the only objective, really, at the end of the day, is to get the result you want as quick as you can. So there is a bug in the skirt in there, so I'll just double check to see. So 
So it was just that bone kinking out. But it does show though that, or this having a look on it, it could just easily be because it was my first cut, first try, trying it for ages. So, because if she was on, and you were coming down the wall, you've got to understand, you know, by, by the time you've done a wall or anything like that, you'll be knowing how it feels, where it goes, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. So, it's just... That could also be why that just skewed off there. That would be my fault. Okay, so we'll do it again, for that one to work, and if it is, you know, an option, it's an option. So you can come down, I think with the 9 to freeze, obviously it's easier, because you can just get them in there. We'll do them in the ones. But they should put in, and then your speed will start getting better. So now they're pulled in now, that feels a bit better. I might give them a more voltage so you can be sorry, done. You know, the boards are locking the tiles in place for you. So it takes away just that element, that side of it. Yeah, there is a range of just prescribed templates for each size tile. Because I just think it's still different to everybody else we're doing. But you just pull the wet one, didn't you? So, What the more boards done was introduce the method of dropping it back and using the, a template to scribe it in. We just made the more boards all that, so you just always drop it back the same, so you always use the same, same template. So it was that that defined it as being the way to go. Cutting this wall in, if it was going on then, I'll be all right. That so see, it, it really is a case of you've just got to make some of these decisions yourselves as to which one you want. I won't use one single way for anything. I don't know whatever scenario I'm facing. If I was going down the other way with this, it would probably be easier. So, for me, all of them are like. Well, well to me, all of them are like a. Um, what do call it? A better option. Whenever you get one wrong, put it back in the board afterwards so you can put it up against the wall and find out why you got it wrong. So, the remainder of this wall. In reality, possibly, you know, the holy board is always going to be the one that sort of comes out because, you know, 
especially if you weren't the first one to be using the more boards and trying to turn something. That is, you know, you're going to get the bonus down because you're going to enjoy how it makes you feel and how it makes you fit, you know. And they are, honestly, always, without fail, correct. And if you're further back from the wall, the bit you're, the time that you are saving is the fact if you haven't got rough tiles in, um, you haven't got to swap any of these over, drive on any others, you can battle right, right out to the last row. And it, Sort of like if you want to get the job done, just come down with this one because it's really just a case of how quick you get. But what you've got to do if you're transitioning from anything like or maybe all of the other um, training academy teach and part of Manteco is to get rid of all this delicate, you know, standing on top of it, you know, taking your time with the templates. Okay, it really did. All that delicate stuff is what the more boards have done. It's because, you know, I never used to like holding it in place while I got doing all that sort of thing. I want to be able to go up to it and go, oi, bush, 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 bush. drop them in one after another like that. So yeah, so this is what when the more boards are in the hands of so like once you've got used you've got practice, once they become that tall, you know the difference it becomes, but you've got to start just remembering having a bit of faith in them. You've got to hang them in. Locked in. No balancing. Template, bang, I'm pushing it up against the wall and pulling it backwards like that. And then when I pull the knife across, which I need to change the blade on. used to be found without any of the complication because it'll be all you know we'll show you all ways you know because this is what the model to develop from it's developed from the stuff that everyone else is only just sort of reaching way to do it really is to just put as much of the information out there for you and have to test that. Well, I'll just get to see it. And, uh, I suppose, and uh, I'll hopefully try and do more. I haven't got social media people, so. methods for being tall. So, as you can see, the third way is this, you know, purely just save roughing in, save roughing down, 
And when you do get to being how I am, sort of like with the board, you know, you've got to say, you know, put this sort of thing, me doing it, against any other structure trying to show you something. I'll do come down the wall with any one of my tools. This is one, but if I get to, I want to try and put it into the Pacific Herring Bone collection and uh, you know go through all of my stuff in there because I've, I've got some, hopefully got some other ones coming up there. Now the last job I've done with Kelvin, I couldn't believe how much stuff he went through and how You know, I've got a chance to teach him and show him, but I would never be able to get that same kind of, um, you know, teaching across because we weren't facing with the scenario. We've got to face with the scenarios. So I'm just coming down to the last one. And this will be the last one on this row where the mighty herring bone board, on board. We'll be able to strike our stuff. No problem, man. If you check out the actual Mobile YouTube channel, you could actually go back as many years as you like and you will find a whole lot of stuff there that, you know, that especially when it comes to the curves and that lot which you know the others start doing after they see my videos so you can thank me for that too. 